Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I was going to show you how I sharpen my end mills. Now straight off the bat this is not my idea. In fact I saw this on a video from a guy called Rob uh, from the Xanadu channel and I'll leave the link in the description. He showed how to sharpen end mills here on the lathe using like a, a die grinder or, or pencil grinder. And it's from that video that I'll be able to restore life back into these um, end mills here. Uh, you know, I just kept them in this plastic container because they were blunt and broken. And I'll show you some close-ups of those on the screen. So you might have recalled one of my other builds. It was the Hosfield uh, Bender tooling. And I was making these big square blocks and it was hard and steel and I'd sort of ruined a couple of end mills there. Well, ruined them for, for any further work, but um, I think they were these ones here. So if I'm able to sharpen them, then get them back into, you know, some more life, then, you know, it saves me going out buying some more. And I was getting to the point where I was running out of uh, big end mills. I've got quite a lot of these smaller seven, eight millimeter end mills, but once you start getting into, you know, 16 and 20s, um, and that sort of size, you know, I'm, I'm sort of out of these bigger ones. So I really need to get them sharpened so I can, um, you know, make it easier on my milling. I'll show you how I set up the lathe. And remember, this is pretty much exactly what Rob says in his video. So all credit to, to Rob on this. Okay, we're ready to give this a go. So I've just got on the tip of the end mill here and we're just gonna use the cross slide to go in at that two degrees in that way. The tool post there has been lifted up two millimeters from the center as per what Rob said on his video. So I'm just gonna lock the cross slide And we'll use the compound slide for that when we drive it in. So it might be a bit noisy here and um, if it is I'll take the sound down a bit in the uh, post editing and maybe put some voice over in there. But before we do that I'm just gonna put some rags down. So we can try and keep as much of the dust off as possible. Now, naturally, I have the lathe uh, powered off, so there's no accidentally flicking the switch and it trying to turn around on the uh, indexing wheel there. Anyway, here we go. to climb in there and have a bit of a look. Kind of 
kind of looks good there. It's right behind, so it's a bit hard to see. But anyway, let's rotate it. And try the next one. It certainly sharpened them up, um, but I can see this end mill was quite bad and the corners were rounded off quite a lot. So I think I'm just, and there goes the compressor. Uh, but anyway, I think I'll just come in a little bit further and see if we can clean it up properly. Just doing this freehand, so it might be a little bit shaky. You can see that the flutes are cleaning up, that's good, but um, on the tips there, you can see that dark patch. That's where it's worn out, so I'm gonna have to probably go in a couple more times just to try and clean them up. I'll carry on with that, and I'll do that off camera, and then once we're finished, we'll take it out and have a look at it. So you can see there the faces are all cleaned up pretty good there now and I tell you what it is sharp now the only concern I got is I had to take quite a bit off and you can see the ground area it's quite a, a wide ground area there where um, I think the cutting edge of an end mill is quite narrow so what I'm going to do is lift the, um, the stone up higher or as high as I can and then go in with the same angle and hopefully that will do a bit of a back grind or you know the back relief i'm not really sure what they call that thing but anyway hopefully that will make it better than what it is and a, and a little bit narrower Not sure how good this is going to be on the video but um, this has turned out looking pretty good to be honest so those blue lines there that you see that I used the um, sharpie marker and just marked the flutes before I did the back grind that second part of the grinding um, and you can see that you know that's made those cutting edges a little bit narrower now um, but that's coming out really good I'll tell you what it is really sharp on all of these points, so I'm going to try it out in the mill and see how it goes. Well, that is cutting absolutely perfect. That is great. Well, I I was running out of these larger end mills because uh, they're all blunt. And that is a great idea from Rob doing that in the lathe and with the uh, tool post grinder to sharpen those up. So that's what I got to do. These are all the, the end mills that have got bad, yeah probably I don't know if you can see that, they got bad ends, they all need sharpening so these are the only sort of larger ones I've got, I've got a lot of smaller ones kind of this size here, but um, the larger ones I was just running out because uh, sometimes you get some steel that's hardened and you don't know and you know by the time you've skimmed over a bit it's uh it's dulled the uh the end mills so if 
getting a bit late today. Tomorrow, I'm going to go and grind all those up and make them brand new again while I have the lathe all set up. So once again, you know, full credit goes to Rob uh, for posting his video. That's given me the idea to set up the same and with a, a really great result. Hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.